sundress, we decided to step things outside. The weather is glorious today and Cinco de Mayo is just around the corner. We have been donated a lovely bottle of Uno Mas Reposado from Eric Lorenza Agave Spirits. We've infused that with uh, blackberries this time around. So if you want to uh, recap on um, infusing, feel free to go back to episode one when we did the uh, lovely vodka Collins with raspberries. We're gonna show you how to make a ginger beer, which is gonna go into this uh, lovely cocktail. So we've got our blender over here, our lovely favorite, our favorite bar tool, and we've got some ginger that we've peeled, uh, but we've also chopped it up nice and fine so we don't destroy the blender with a bit of luck, hopefully. So we'll say that's about half a pound of ginger in there. And we're gonna put in about an ounce of bitters into our ginger beer. A cup of sugar here. That's a whole cup in there as well. And we're gonna add some water, just so we've got something to make. We're essentially making a, a, a ginger puree here. So, um, just so it's really easy, it mixes into the drinks nicely. Thank you, mate. Yeah. Toot toot to you too, nice sunny day, lovely jubbly. All right, uh, we'll put a little bit of citrus in there as well. The citrus really is uh, just to um, preserve it longer really. Once you put this in, your, once you've blended this up with the sugar, a little bit of lemon juice as well, it should last in the fridge or you can even freeze it, use it at a later date, batch it up smaller. Put a little bit of lemon juice in there. It's gonna add to the flavor. It's also gonna, the citric acid in there helps to preserve it so it doesn't go all uh, moldy. <laughs> all right, later on. But today we'll be using it nice and fresh. All right, so into the blender and uh, blend that up nice and fast. Give that blender a workout. All right, okie dokie. So we've blended that up beautifully. Oh, wow. Bitters really work well with the, um, with the ginger and the lemon to give us a Nice, sweet, lovely little, basically a ginger puree that we're gonna mix with, uh, with a citrus soda. It's gonna give us a nice ginger beer. Fill our glass with ice. We're gonna add a couple of teaspoons of this lovely ginger. It's gonna be quite strong in flavor. So, there we go. I think one might be good actually, but we'll do a little bit more, why not? Add a little bit of flavor, spice things up a little bit. We're then going to squeeze in some lime juice. Bingo, bingo. In we go, a nice bit of lime. Squeeze that in, beautiful. All right, that's just gonna combat the sugar that we've already put into the ginger beer and that we're gonna add with a citrus soda. Yay, there we go top that up. So essentially what we've got here, we've got a really, really tasty ginger beer. Nice and citrusy. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna try very carefully just to float this beautiful blackberry tequila right on top. The cameraman's gonna love this one. I know he's a big tequila fan. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I knew you'd do that. I knew you'd do that. And I was like, please don't do that. All right. And then we're gonna garnish that, not only with a lovely blackberry, but I'm also gonna show you a really nice way to do a garnish. All right, so, uh, again, bartender's favorite tool, the old potato peeler. Once around on this one here. So we've got a nice thick skin there, all right. We're gonna squeeze the oils across there so that when you go in to have a sip of this drink, you're gonna get a lovely, lovely, lovely smell of the citrus. Just slice the top off here, like that. Push, push that to one side, and then we're gonna, you can go crazy here, you just, uh, you know, be artistic. Slice through there like that. All right, and then what we'll do, we'll just twist it, and look at that. It's Elvis Presley. Hey, check it out. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, all right, so there we go. We've got a really, really easy, simple, great tequila cocktail using a beautiful Uno Mass. And we've almost got the, uh, the uh, Mexican flag on there. There we go, it's beautiful. Bob is your uncle, yeah? Well, Miguel today, Miguel is your uncle. 